This is our tool steel, A2, D2. This happens to be a piece of D2 trim steel. What we're going to do is we're going to just kind of warm it up with an oxygen settling torch. Here we go. And uh, any kind of preheat is better than none. So we just kind of warm it up a little bit, try to get, you know, a couple hundred degrees, two, three hundred degrees in the area. It just helps the tool steel take the shock of the hot arc. This is only a small repair. I don't recommend this for a big repair if you can get it out. But if you're in the press and you've got to keep it going or you've got to get it back in, this is a good way to do it and get going. All right, there we go. We've got it warmed up. Now we're going to uh, put Vulcan 400 CG on the first layer underneath. And uh, this is a Vulcan 400 CG control grain. It seals the carbon from the tool steel, and then we're going to lay the tool steel on top. Here we go. Watch your eyes. We're going to get off of it right away. What we're going to do is we're going to peen this and stress relieve it while it's cooling down. The reason I'm peening this is to stress relieve it. It's getting smaller and I'm helping it uh, stay down into the weld. There we go. Now we're going to put the uh, Vulcan 910AH air hardened tool steel and it's good for any air hardened, A2, D2, whatever. Here we go. Watch your eyes. Okay, got that deposit. And again, what I do is I peen that tool steel right away. There we go. Now we could uh, give this to the uh, tool maker or someone, whoever, and put it back in shape and you're back in business. Vulcan 400 CG underneath, Vulcan 910AH air hardened tool steel on top. Perfect solution every time.